So the second section, we'll call 1.1B. We're working with degrees, minutes, and seconds on this. So an angle. There is a 90 degree angle, right? Okay. We split in half in there, two 45 degree angles. I mean, we can split that one in half and then we get a 22.5 and a 22.5. And we can split that one in half and keep going and going and going and going and going. Okay. Let's say you have a one degree angle. Let's say this is one degree. And no, I know it's not one degrees. Okay. But let's say it's one degree. And I split that. Then they're each 0.5 of a degree. Okay. Now, is there another way to say a half of a degree? And the answer is yes. A half of a degree is like 30 minutes. Just like a half of an hour is 30 minutes, a half of a degree is 30 minutes. So one degree can be split up into 60 minutes. So this one degree, you can split up into 60 separate little angles, each one minute wide. Now, in a minute, there is how many seconds? 60 seconds. So really, this one degree angle can be split up into 60 times 60 or... 3,600 seconds. So you can take a one degree angle, which is really, really small. I way oversized it here. But you can split this up into 3,600 different little pieces if you wanted to. Okay? So we're going to be working with the trig that goes with degrees, minutes, and seconds. And today, this is basically the only day, besides a couple other minor little instances where you're going to run degrees, minutes, seconds, that will work with degrees, minutes, and seconds. But it's part of trig class, so we need to learn a little bit about it. So if we have 13 degrees, 45 minutes, and we're told to turn that into decimal degrees. Now, how many minutes are in an hour? 60, so 60 minutes in a degree. So how much of a degree is 45 minutes? Three fourths. Okay. To get that, it's easy. If you don't know what it is right off the top of your head, you just take 45 divided by 60 and get 0.75. So this is 30, 13.75 degrees. Okay. Now let's go degrees, minutes, seconds. Okay. Let's say we have 75 degrees, 63 minutes, and 20 seconds. Let's turn that into a decimal. Okay, so we start with the very back end. Okay, we start with the 20. 20 out of 60 is what? One third. So it's 75 degrees, 63.33 repeating minutes. Whoa, why did I go 63? Bad, bad choice there. 43. Because 60 is over and over a degree. So then we take 43.33 and divide it by 60, and this is where we need a calculator. 43.33 divided by 60 is? 0.72. Give me four. Two and six? Seven, two, two, one, six. Seven, two, two, one, six. So 7222 degrees, okay? So that's dealing with putting degrees, minutes, seconds into terms of decimals. So let's take a decimal, 10.455 degrees, and turn it into degrees, minutes, seconds. Shanty. Thank you for paying attention. So 
To turn this into degrees, minutes, seconds, you take the decimal part and you'd multiply it by what number do you think? 60. What's 0.455 times 60? I need calculator help, people. I don't know this in my brain. Yeah. What? 27.3, exactly. Okay. So that means this is 10 degrees, 27 minutes, and then you have to take the 0.3 times 60. If you take 0.3 times 60, you get 18 seconds. Okay? 10 degrees, 27 minutes, 18 seconds. Okay? So up here, we're dividing by 60. Here, we're multiplying the decimal part by 60. Okay? So hopefully you can do that. All right. Adding. What's 18 degrees, 43 minutes, and 27 seconds plus 36 degrees, 52 minutes, and 44 seconds? Okay, this, this seems easy, right? What's 27 plus 44? 71. What's 52 plus 43? 95. What's 36 plus 18? 54. If you handed that in, I'd count it wrong. Because, is there 71 seconds in a minute? No. So what we have to do is we have to carry here, okay? So 71 is the same as 11, and then we carry a minute to here. So we get 96 minutes. Well, 96 is too big. 96 is the same as 36, okay? And we carry a one, and then it's 55. So it's 55 degrees, 36 minutes, 11 seconds, okay? All right. So if you can do that, let's look at a triangle. Let's say this is 60 degrees, 46 minutes, and 13 seconds. And this is 82 degrees, 14 minutes, and 44 seconds. What's this missing angle? No. <laughs> From geometry. How many degrees are in a triangle? 180. So we know there's 180 degrees total in there. Okay? So what we should do with these two is add them together and subtract from 180. So take 60, 46, 13, and 82, 14, 44. Add them together. We get 57 here, right? 0, 60 here, right? And then 142 here. So really, it's 143 degrees, 0 minutes, 57 seconds. Okay? So you subtract from 180. So how do we do that? Not quite. We borrow. So this is 179 degrees, which would then give 60 minutes. But we're going to write it as 59 minutes because we're going to borrow a minute and go 60 seconds right here. So you got to borrow from the 180. 60 minus 57 is 3. 59 minus 0 is 59. 179 minus 143 is 36. So it's 36 degrees, 59 minutes, and 3 seconds. Okay? So, a little bit of uh, algebra going on there.
or not algebra, just simple arithmetic. All right. What's this angle over here? Hundred and thirty seven and something, yeah. Cause it's a hundred and eighty minus this, right? Which instead of writing it as hundred and eighty, it's hundred and seventy nine degrees, fifty nine minutes, sixty seconds minus forty two, fifteen, and twenty four. So 60 minus 24 is 36. 59 minus 15 is 44. And 179 minus 42 is 137. So it's 137 degrees, 44 minutes, 36 seconds. Okay? So I think you can do that. All right. Um, All right, what's the angle of the two hands right at two o'clock? How many degrees are in between those two hands right at two o'clock? Well, how many degrees are there in a circle? 360, how many numbers are on the clock? 12, what's 360 divided by 12? 30, so between, between the 12 and the two, what angle does it form? 60 degrees. So what about at 9 o'clock? Why am I doing degrees? What about at 9 o'clock? What's the angle between the two hands? Trig-wise, it's 270. Shortcut-wise, it's 90 degrees. 270 would also work. Okay. I think they want the uh, smallest angle formed. So they'll want 90 degrees at nine o'clock. Okay, what about at seven o'clock p.m.? The smallest angle formed between the two hands. Higher than 50 degrees. Yep, yep. No, we're just, we're not worrying about negatives or positives, Shanty. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So you think you got the degrees, minutes, seconds down good enough, and then there will be one clock question on there, which should be basic for you. So degrees, minutes, seconds. Let me put that assignment out there for you. It is out there. <laughs> 